Capacitors. We covered capacitors in the electric potential unit, and we talked mostly, well, actually all about parallel plate capacitors. So just as a quick review, a parallel plate capacitor is composed of two conducting plates that are separated by a small distance. Here's the small distance. Obviously, this is not to scale. The small distance would be, you'd have the other plate right up there. So one side is charge positive, and the other side is charge negative. The charges are equal and opposite. We can also insert a dielectric material in here, which will increase the capacitance of the circuit for a given potential. The capacitor stores energy in the electric field. That's these blue lines here. And that electric field is created by the difference in potential between the plates. We've discussed the theory of a capacitor at great length. Now we're going to see how it behaves as a circuit element. So we have a simple circuit here. We have a battery. We have a switch that can be connected to either point A or point B. We have a capacitor. There's a voltage difference here. There's a potential for the battery. And here's a light bulb. The capacitor has no charge on it. It is electrically neutral, no potential difference. The light bulb is not lit. No current is flowing. We now close the switch to position A. We have a complete circuit, and electrons from the capacitor's top plate are attracted by the positive terminal of the battery. The charges move through the battery, they gain energy, and are deposited on the bottom of plate of the capacitor. Recall, conventional current is in the opposite direction of the electron flow. It's the direction of positive charge. So conventional current would be going this way. And what do you notice here on the capacitor? We now have signs on it, right? As electrons leave, this is positively charged. As electrons come over here, that gets a net negative charge. However, when you sum these two charges, you get zero due to the conservation of charge. They are equally and oppositely charged. Again, as the electrons are leaving the top plate of this capacitor, leaves behind a positive charge, they go over to the other plate, a negative charge, and these are equally equal in magnitude. The question, what happens to the brightness of this light bulb? And brightness depends on how much current is flowing through the light bulb. When the switch is closed, the maximum amount of current is flowing and the light bulb will be at its brightest. That's because there is no potential difference at the capacitor, so it is not opposing this potential. As the plates charge, the potential energy here, the potential difference increases, and as you can see, it opposes the potential difference from the battery. A way to look at that, this will generate a current going in this direction, the capacitor would generate an opposing current. Therefore, the net current in the circuit starts decreasing and will eventually be zero when the magnitude of the two potentials here are the same. Therefore, the light bulb will get dimmer and dimmer until the current stops and the light bulb goes out. The charge on each one of these plates now is at its maximum.